welcome to the Victoria Warehouse Manchester for this evening's Bill of Boxing, brought to you by Steve Wood and VIP Promotions. Tonight's bill sanctioned by the British Boxing Board of Control. Steward in charge of ringside is Sally C, and the inspectors ringside are Barry Coulson, Kurt Haslam, Richard Thomas, and Mark Ridge. Here we go then with bound number one of our evening. This is a welterweight contest. We are scheduled for four three-minute rounds of boxing. Timekeeper ringside is Phil Morris. And upon the sound of the bell, the third man in the ring is the man in charge of this bout, introducing your referee, Jamie Kirkpatrick. Should the bout go the distance, it will be scored by our judge at ringside, Mark Lyson. Firstly, boxing down at the blue corner. His official weight for the contest, 10 stone, at three pounds. He's got 12 career victories to his credit. And this evening, he's wearing the blue shorts trip with white. Boxing out of Nuneaton. Boxing fans in Manchester, please welcome Christian Leitz. <laughs> and across the ring for the very first time as a professional boxer. This evening, out of the red corner. On the scales, and officially 10 stone at 7 pounds. Wearing the black shorts trim with gold. And boxing out of Gorton, Manchester. Introducing Eli, the Admiral Thunder Murphy. <laughs> Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick will now issue his final instructions to both boxers. This is a welterweight contest. This one scheduled for four three-minute rounds of boxing. So we all first moments of Eli Murphy's professional career. Talented amateur, spent some time at Collierst and Moston Gym and now at the Moss Side Firebox with uh, Nigel Travis, uh, Jamie Moore helping out in the corner. Eli says he, he doesn't worry too much about what the opponent's doing, Lee. He concentrates on his own game, but what's it like on your debut, you know? Is it easy to get carried away by things? Yeah, I think you worry about everything else, don't you? About who else he's watching and stuff like that. It's the pressure in it of having your debut. I mean, I know when I made mine here, I had about 500 people there. I was more worried about them, to be honest with them, fighting the lad I was fighting. No, the thing you've got to do with Christian is not get carried away and blow your load early on, isn't it? You know, you've got to pace yourself, and Eli looks like he, yeah, he knows that. I think because of his amateur background, I don't think he's going to have much chance of doing that, is there? I think he's just come very composed at the minute now. It's 27, Eli, so... Yeah, it's a great shot. Yeah, nice body work there. Quite a late age to turn over, but... If he's yeah. good enough, he'll move quickly, won't he? Yeah, of course. I think Christian Leite acknowledged that was a good body shot then as well. I think he would give him a little bit of a nod. Christian was probably wondering why he bothered going for that interview and uh, scanned to get his <laughs> licence back after that. Yeah, after that cracking shot, that. Don't forget, we're live on www.vipboxing.tv and uh, the Facebook page, so get your comments in. Insults, questions, we read everything out. You know that. There's no other boxing on TV tonight, so captive audience, make the most of it. Yeah, he's loving them body shots early on, Eli, so... Just so spins off nice after he's thrown that yeah, right hook, doesn't he? Comes off at angles great, doesn't he? It's good to see someone not headhunting against Light. Yeah. Must, must have seen Christian about 50 times, and I've only seen him stop once. Which was Ben Mulligan, wasn't it? I saw Kerry Evans do him with one shot. Yeah. One punch knockout, yeah. Uh, as uh, Ben Mulligan. I'm not sure, ben, did Ben Mulligan get him as I, well? I think Ben Mulligan's had him, yeah. I must have missed that one, yeah, but uh, Kerry Evans He's got him over in Chester. St sticks out, you know, you see some spectacular things when you go to all the big fights, but seeing Christian Light knocked out. Yeah. Sticks in my mind. Oh, what's this? There's 271 now. Yeah. Just looked for that left uppercut there, didn't he? Uh, Eli. Yeah. He's... But back straight back to her body. I think that that's going to be the bread and butter for him tonight. Oh. 
must be a must be tricky for someone like Eli. You know, he, as a good amateur, he's been fighting competitive fights all the time. To then switch to this, where really you... Well, he's got to go and put it on someone, yeah. Yeah, he's got to create every opening. You yeah. know, Christian's not giving him anything. It must be a difficult transition to make, like. Because there's someone not throwing at you. There's no little gaps that you can go inside, is there? So you've got to try and find them gaps yourself, open up. But I'm sure with his amateur pedigree, uh, he'll soon start finding them gaps. Nigel's very good in the corner, isn't he? He'll be nice and calm as well. Him and Jamie are a good team together. Yeah, brilliant. Offside firebox team there. Natalie Farrell doing marine card duty tonight. VIP staple now, Natalie. Seems to do every single show. Well done, Natalie. I was looking at the box in the corner, getting a Vaseline put on him. I'm a married man, aren't I? <laughs> First lady of boxing as well, Lee, Karen Priestley. Uh, she is a star of boxing, our Karen. Good interview with Karen in a, is it called Knockout magazine that, uh, yeah, that, that Brooke Stretfield runs. Yeah, it's a really good write up. Uh, if you know Karen's story, have a look, look up for that. Out for round two. Nothing to change here for Eli, is there? No. You know, first round was pretty much as good as he could possibly have expected on his professional debut. He doesn't come much better than that, to be fair, on the pro debut. It's like I see him step on the gas a bit now. And uh, Steve Collins saying it's good to hear you on commentary, Lee. Cheers, Steve. Darren Sargentson, who does a bit of refereeing, you'll have seen him. Uh, he's asking how many fights. We've got eight fights for you tonight, Darren. Starting to find little tiny gaps in Christian Lake's defence area. He's doing really well. Now he's, he's got his old uh, Collier's the Moston teammates are in the crowd watching. You know, Zelfa Barrett's here, Lyndon Arthur's watching. He's got that same relaxed style, yeah, hasn't he? Oh, very, nothing's a rush. Very, very composed. Very, very good trainers up there. Pat, Mike, Tommy. Uh, Paula, Tommy McDonough. My, my daughter's up at Moston and Collier's with uh, Tommy and Frank. Yeah. Yeah, she's an ABA there. It's a great gym. Yeah, Frank's, Frank's good laugh in the gym, isn't oh, he? Oh, he's quality, Frank. He's been training my daughter for like one on one since she was like four year old. Oh, great shot. Yeah, nice right up from Eli. <laughs> the first time there, he just put a few ups in behind that as well, didn't he? I think yeah. he, he must have sent something there. Christian had to tie him up then, and he did so really well. There we go, he's putting a little bit more pressure on now. I like that the step across he does, you know, the little switches of angles. Yeah. Got the book of Eli on his on his shorts. It's your favourite Denzel Washington film, Lee? Man of Fire. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's got to be on it. Yeah, I love a good revenge film. Yeah. Oh, beautiful left hand straight through the guard there. Just came around up a cut and then put a left behind it. I tell you, I'm, uh, Eli Murphy's impressing me tonight. Yeah. He's coming very composed, picking his shots nicely. To have 271 professional fights, so that, that's an achievement, isn't it? Incredible. It's unthinkable, isn't it? How many do you reckon you're going to knock up, Lee? <laughs> Three. No, obviously I've got the next one, and then I'm, <laughs> I'm off for a bit doing uh, other works, but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, Lee's back out on the, uh, the big bill, aren't you, Lee? Uh, yeah, the 23rd Go on, sell of September. It. Sell some tickets, tell uh, them about it. Everyone in Gorton knows, there's posters everywhere. <laughs> Uh, 23rd of September at the Eminem Arena, um, Fury vs Park on the card. So, I love round three. Round, round three is my favourite to now. Clayton McLeod's uh, got in touch on my Facebook stream. What time's Macaulay McGowan fighting? We think Macaulay's going to be on sometime around nine o'clock, between nine and half past. Uh, Macaulay's fighting William Warburton for a challenge belt, um, eight threes. I think William's going to bring it tonight as well. 
Yeah, I, I like watching Willie Warb. You don't know which one's going to turn up, do you? No, I think usually if it's a prize at the end of it, though, he really yeah, does turn 100%, up, does percent yeah. I watched him fight a kid on the debut, and the debut, the debut kid belted him. And after that, it was just an absolute one-sided beatdown. Yeah, I think that was uh, Callum Pearson who's fighting later on tonight. Uh, Warburton beat him on his debut. Yeah, that was uh, up at, um, at Middleton Arena. Middleton Arena, that was the one. Yeah, William Warburton, he's got a losing record, but when he chooses to, he can really oh, fight. When, when, when he wants to go out there and put a show on, he does do, doesn't he? Jamie Mitchell's watching from uh, Arnie's gym, turning over soon. Uh, Danny Bard is asking which fight this. This is the first fight of the night, Danny. It's Eli Murphy against Christian Lay, Eli's debut. Looking really good as well so far. No. Nice uppercut. Just under fire here, Christian, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's giving a little body check back, punch back there to let him know he's there. Think, how, lo how long's Christian been out for, do we know? I can look it up for you. I think the, uh, you know, south, being a southpaw is helping him land that left uppercut, isn't he? Yeah. It's coming at an unusual angle. Christian's just struggling to pick it up. There it is again. He's not took a backward step though, as he lies constantly going forward, trying to open them gaps. Because I think the reason why Christian was out was it a failed brain scan or? Yeah, I think that an issue flagged up and he had to get a, another scan done. Just to make sure everything's okay. Better safe than sorry in that uh, department, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's not, only been a couple of months actually. He fought in Oldham. And he fought Joe Echo when he made his debut on the last VIP show. Bit of no blood from his nose. I think that's a result of a left upper cuts. There we go again, switching at the mangles. Yeah, again, yeah, he's, he's never stood in front of Christian Light once. Every time he's finishing a combination. He's just stepping off to the side. I think that one to the pit of the stomach hurt Christian then. Well, Christian Look. just giving uh, Nigel and Jamie a little wink there. I think he's just appreciating what he's up against tonight. Yeah, definitely. I saw that a little cheeky wink to appreciate the work obviously Eli's putting in the team that they've done with him. Yeah, seven more fights after this. Um, uh, another highly rated debutant coming up later on, Kane Gardner. Uh, for 80 odd times in amateur, some high level stuff. Uh, he's been in some top level sparring as well, so you know, just getting him ready for his debut. And Kane's coming up later on tonight. Yeah, a couple of the crowd were mentioning Kane before to us, weren't they, John? Um, saying he's going to be the next best thing. Yeah, they also asked us if we were the judges, all these. So. Yeah, so. <laughs> take, that with, take their opinion with a pinch of salt. But don't don't judges wear night tracksuits no more. <laughs> They're doing Gorton. Street judges. That's the one. Yep, stay tuned. Kane's coming up at around 9.30 tonight. I, I, I am a massive fan of net leggings. Have I ever told you that, John? I've not. What size are you? I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a 14. I'll get you some as a present after you beat, uh, after you get your, your maiden victory. Yes, let's do it. I'm doing it yours or mine. <laughs> Sunday afternoons at mine are usually the times for that. I'm up for that, pal. Book me in. Here we go. Eli Murphy off his stool. It'd be team will be all over the moon with what he's managed to do so far. Christian just gives him a nice tap of gloves there. Yeah, I think it's been an excellent performance on his debut against a, a very reliable uh, journeyman in Christian Lake. I wonder if we'll, Eli will just work out what he's got left, you know, what he's got left in the tank and maybe just pour everything out in his last three minutes. Yeah, he's come out of the traps a lot quicker than this, I know. Oh, beautiful left hand there over the top. You know, it was the right up to a body in the first round, Lee, wasn't it? But the left yeah. hand's been... It's been catching him on the uppercut on it all the time, every time he throws it. Really good. A 
Christian usually knows enough to make these fights messy. Yeah. And, uh, he can spoil a fight very well, can't he? Spoil, yeah, but he's just not been able to spoil Eli whatsoever, has he? No, I think that's because of the, the angles he keeps coming off. There we go again. As soon as he throws the punches off at a different angle, isn't it? Yeah, people talking about uh, Kane Gardner on the stream, you know, he boxed Perry King. Quite a few people actually talking about uh, Kane Gardner. What was he, ex-England ABA or...? Yeah, he used to box for Droyles and ABC. But anyway, it's about Eli Murphy. We'll talk about Kane later on. Yeah. Very impressive debut as well. It is. Yeah, Kane's going to have to go some to beat this. A little, <laughs> little bit, that, that'll slow him down a bit. A little trick there from Christian. Now he's 27, he's taking a bit of a while to turn over, but judging by this, we're going to be able to move Eli quite quickly, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. I mean, I turned over at 33. <laughs> what, in bed? Yeah. That's it's quality stuff, out, isn't it? Just stepped underneath to the side at the same time and got a counter left hook in. Final 50 seconds here. No slowing down from Eli's pace this well. And there's not been a word, has there, from McCorney? You know, they've not no, needed to shout anything. They've not had to say anything, have they? I mean, usually when the people on the debut come rushing forward trying to knock people out, how composed uh, Eli's been here, he's such short selection. And the way he's come off at angles, I'd be very pleased with him if I was his corner. Hey, the quietly spoken sort of guy you like. Prefers to let his fist do the talking. But, uh, certainly done that tonight. Very impressive. Clear of 40 36s you'll ever see that, Lee. Yeah, every single round control it from start to finish. Christian just popped over there to a corner to tell her, Nigel and Jamie, just how impressed he was. Yeah. MC Paul Booth to read out the inevitable 40 36, I think. Three lights, get his hand lifted. My trainer's on there, Gary Booth, don't forget your role work. Don't worry, I'm going to do sit-ups all the way home. debut victory from Eli Murphy an equally impressive performance from Lee Carter on the commentary cheers for that lads you're off for uh, Gary Booth told you to go home and do your road work Lee I've got to go now I'll put that run in for Gary Booth I'll Thanks. catch you later lads nice one Lee thanks for that